Piali piali no chime no tocatlapoyawa, Juan Shimo Panoltica, Kafensi, y Kanawat. Hello everyone, my name is Tlapoyawa, and welcome to Café con Nahuatl. So this video is a follow-up to the previous video I did where I talk about the Makwawi. Now, in doing research for that episode, I came across a lot of really interesting information that I thought was worth another video, so I hope you enjoy it. One of the things that I came across was the catalog of the Royal Armory of Madrid, Spain. And in particular, there was one page that was illustrated by an Italian artist that depicts a makwawi and another weapon called a tepostopili. Now the tepostopili is basically a lance or a spear, although it wasn't really intended to be thrown. Now next to these two pieces of weaponry are two shields. And the shields are interesting because neither one of them is Mesoamerican. In fact, both of them appear to be Turkish shields. Now, I mention this because I also came across a French etching of a photograph. And this etching is really interesting because it shows a set of samurai armor holding the Makwawi, the same Makwawi from the catalog of uh, Madrid, Spain, and the shield, one of the Turkish shields, from that same page. So it appears that somebody put together a display. I, I guess they must have thought that these items looked exotic enough to go together, and they put together a display of samurai armor, wielding a Turkish shield and a Mexica Makwawi. So I made it my mission to find the actual photograph that the etching was based on. And I was able to do exactly that in a book called Guerreros Aztecas by a man named Marco Antonio Obregón. And on page 96, you can see uh, two photographs, both of them samurai armor, which kind of looks jumbled together itself. One of them is holding the tepostopili from that same page of the armory catalog and one of the Turkish shields. The other is holding the Makwawi from the catalog and the other Turkish shield. And if you'll notice, the Makwawi is really, really long. It's bigger than any Makwawi that I have ever seen. In fact, it extends far beyond the frame of the photograph. So I took the illustration from the catalog and I laid it over the uh, photograph to get a better idea of just how big this makwawi was and it is massive in fact the handle itself is about a foot long and the bladed area or section is like three and a half to four feet long at least that's what it looks like from the photograph so i thought this was really interesting i went searching through my book aztec warfare by ross hazig if you don't have this book you should get it and he mentioned something that I found really interesting. He starts off, some swords, and he calls the Makwawit swords, had thongs through which the user could put his hand to secure the weapon in battle. So basically, the Makwawit, or some of the Makwawit, had a leather strap that you would slide your hand through and hold on to the handle just in case it got knocked out. You didn't lose it while you were on the battlefield. It was still attached to your wrist. But he continues... The two-handed variety is described as being about four inches wide and as tall as a man. So there you have it. This photograph depicts a two-handed makwawi. And we owe a debt of gratitude to whoever it was that just threw these weapons together haphazardly to make this display and took a photograph of them because now we have what is possibly the only photograph of an actual two-handed makwawi. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider going to chimali.org and signing up to become a patron where you'll get a lot of cool perks in addition to an extra video every week and that's going to be starting up pretty soon. 
So, once again, Tlaskmati Miak, no toca tlapoyawa, timoitase. <laughs>